I created this coloring book in less than 15 minutes with this AI and everything was completely free. Let me show you exactly how I did it. I'll go to Google and type Leonardo AI, then click Get Early Access. And you can fill in your email address here and click Count Me In. Then you wait for a while, it will send you an email, probably in a week or two. If you want to get in faster, then you can join their Discord group and be active on it. And you can see the home page, future models and recent creation. These are what people recently created. I will come back to how you can use them later. What you need to do is to come to this AI image generation. So each image costs you one token. You are actually giving 150 token every four hours. So for any image you want to create for, for anything you want to do, you see the cost of the token. So if you are creating just one image, you are going to use one token, which is enough for you to create a coloring book. So if you want to make 50 pages, the tokens will be enough for you to make up to 50 pages. So I'll come here and type the prompt. So for here that you can see negative prompts, what you have to type here is those things you don't want to see. Then I will click generate and here you have it. Here you can upscale the image which is going to increase the resolution but it will cost you around 5 tokens. So you don't really have to upscale a black and white image because you can do that on Canva. You can edit it on Canva so there's no need for doing that. I'll show you how to do that on Canva. But when it comes to your cover then you have to upscale it because for your cover you need to get the highest resolution possible. So when we come here we just click on it. Then right click and save. So one thing that you can do that will help you get good quality images is by scrolling down to these recent creations and looking at the prompts that people use. So you can see here, for example, I'll scroll down here and find this one that looks like something I'm looking for and just click on it and copy the prompts. Go back to the image generation and paste the prompt and make sure I remove those things I don't want so I can still go back and copy the negative prompts then go and paste it there and make sure I remove all the things I don't want so I kept doing this until I'm done creating all the images I wanted to create and the next thing for me to do now is to go to Canva to create my interior um, go to canva.com if you don't have an account, it's actually free. You can open an account on canva.com. Then you click create new design and come here to custom size and change from pixels to inches. The width to 8.75 while the height will be 11.25. The reason why I'm adding 8.75 instead of 8.5 is because I'm going to choose the option bleed in my settings when I'm trying to fill in my book content. If you don't do that, Amazon is going to be rejecting your book because they'll tell you that you have to move your images in such a way that when they are cutting it, they won't leave a white line around it. Then we go ahead and create an interior by clicking this upload icon here and select all the images downloaded and allow them to load. After that, we place them and edit them. So, for this, I'm just going to enlarge it to cover the page. After that, we'll come here, click on image, then click edit photo, then click adjust, and scroll down to black, and increase the black, and increase the contrast. So if you don't know what contrast means in design, it actually means the difference between something from the Latin. So it's like a town hall different from let's continue. So for the next page, I will just make it a black page. I'll tell you the reason why I'm doing that in a bit. I'll click element here, pick this square, enlarge to fill the page, then change the color to black by clicking here and choosing black. So the next thing is to add page and repeat the same process. So the reason there is a black map is because it kind of protects their coloring so that the ink or whatever they are using to color the image will not be bleeding through the next page. 
So I will just keep repeating this process until I'm done with my interior. So I'm done with my interior. I will just click here on title design and change the name of the file to what I want. In this case, I will just write man-made interior. Then I'll click this share icon here and click download. Then here I'll change from PNG to PDF print. Then click download. Okay. So we are done with our interior. The next thing we are going to do now is our cover. For the cover, we are going to go back to Leonardo AI. And the Leonardo AI, one of the things you should do when you are doing your cover design is that you should make sure that you go to recent creations and look for those things that are related to what you want to do that will help you a lot to get prompts that you can use that will create something similar to what you want here i'll just click image generation type my prompts and click generate then i like this one and this one then i'll download then open canva and create my cover for this so i'll just first click Create new design. And since my book is 100 pages, I'll be using 17.435 and 11.25 for height. The next thing is to go to my upload here, upload my design, click here, upload, and select my design. Next, I'll just enlarge. I designed to cover half of the page. Always remember that this side is the front cover, while this side is the back cover. You see this imaginary line that um, they always give you here to tell you that this is the middle. My front cover, I'll uh, just pick text, then choose this font here. If you want to use it, you can search for it in yours. Then I'm going to write magical here. Then click text color, change to yellow, and come back to effects. Scroll down. The echo at the back, as you can see, is pink. Then I will want to change it to black. I'm doing this so that um, we we'll get some depth in the design. Depth makes it more real and much more believable when you are designing. After that, I want to offset a little here then change direction okay i'm done and after that i will just raise it up to the top here and okay the next thing is to write mermaid coloring book for adults i will just write mermaid first so i will come to text here and type mermaid change to capital letters here and I will change the font to this. You can also search for it in yours. Then I will change the color to blue. Then add some effect to the blue. Choose outline. And the next thing is to adjust it properly. Then I would have to write coloring book for adults. Then we we'll go to the text and type coloring book for adults then change the font to now as you can see you can also find this in your still just search for it you see it then enlarge it and the last thing i will do is to create more separation from the background so that it will bring out more beauty in the design so i will just come to the element icon here choose this square shape then bring it down Enlarge it and reduce the size, then change the color here to white and send it to the back behind the text. So we are done with our front cover. The next thing for us to do is our back cover. For my back cover, I can either take samples of the interior and display it in the back cover or just leave it plain. So I'm going to pick elements and choose the square shape. Enlarge it to cover the back and change the color to navy blue so my cover is ready. I just download it 
the way I downloaded mine here, click share, then download and change from PNG to PDF print and download. By the way, if you want to know how you can use your phone to make coloring book with the eye, let me know in the comment section. And if you have not already subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. So the worst thing that can happen to anybody is to wake up one morning to find out that your account has been terminated by Amazon. You see, even though Leonardo AI is free for commercial use, there are some things you have to consider because you cannot just go and use it like that without proper consideration of certain factors. That also applies to chat GPT or if you are using Mid Journey or whatever AI software you are using on Amazon. There are four major reasons why Amazon terminates people's account. And if you understand these four reasons clearly, to save you a lot of heartache later in the future. If you want to protect your accounts from termination, then you should watch this video here where I show you exactly what you have to do before you publish any book in order to prevent your account from termination.